dive straight into the program i will start with the uh, the ceo of the kudu usa i just want to do a follow-up with you is the transition complete or you guys are still in the transition thank you gaza media and thanks to all the sons and daughters of Lebanon and in the blm of the blm at large that are watching us yeah you know the kudu usa was uh, transformed in a large uh, spectrum so view the complexity the transition is ongoing it has not yet been completed but we are really working seriously to complete the process and by the end of this month november i think everything will be true you know it is not just a exchange of signatures as they used to be we have invoices we have account we have account statement that we are going through uh, the, that is going through the transition period so all these um, activities are taking place and smoothly uh, and as i can show you because everything is working in the right direction we don't want to press things and then get some mix up that is why the transition is taking this way coupled with the activities that the the new exit is carrying on as well that is what it has uh, a little bit slowed down the process but everything is working toward the right position direction thank you yeah, thanks uh i know uh i know transition yeah actually there has been a lot of transformation especially in the bank with the vda the village development association mr Everest, you you also came into as a new uh, president just the, the ceo himself both of you are like kind of even though new into this kind of position, but have been working in other leadership position around, uh, like the CEO was explaining, half of you, have you actually take over the control of CUDA activity in the U.S. completely? Um, thank you, Gaza, once more for the opportunity. Um, I think this is going to be one of the first opportunity for our people to actually hear me speak ever since, uh, I was elected into office. Um, yes, to answer to your question, uh, it's still in the same direction like uh, the CEO said. Um, it takes a little while. It's a process. Uh, the organization is not at the same position it started decades ago. So um, you got some paperwork that needs to be completed. Uh, we have a couple of things that needs to be put together before a complete transition can can happen. But I can assure you in the next couple of days, uh, in the next couple of weeks or so, that process should be done. And I think we should take the complete control of the mantle to be able to start uh, putting in place whatever we have to do in this administration. Yes, uh, uh, the CEO, uh, <clears throat> I, think last, I think that was last week, uh, you were in Boston. Uh, doing a fundraising, uh, will you mind maybe sharing us light on what you were actually doing? Because we saw some images of you. Uh, I think that was like kind of, <laughs> to say, a first open public appearance. Uh, what was actually going on in Boston? Thank you, Dr. Ennis. As you already said, that was my first outing since we took over the command in the Kudu USA. And I would really thank the Kudu Boston for what they did. They came out in their number to support this occasion and it was successful. It is just the last two conventions that I saw the Kudu USA raise money more than what the Kudu Boston raised in that hall. The Kudu Boston, their initiative as you really know, working in collaboration, as we are doing with NJA now, regarding the health campaign, is very important. It will move Lebanon forward. Working in collaboration, we, we also motivate a lot of sons and daughters of Lebanon who are not either registered in Boston or registered in Kudu USA to do so. So the Kudu Boston, they plan this fundraising occasion to raise funds to sustain their uh, own their branch and also to support the the, the clearance of the uh, uh, equipment that the Kudu USA bought 
and those equipment are already on the way to Cameroon. Thank God, if things work as planned, the equipment will arrive Cameroon latest at the end of this year. So we are so grateful for what the Kudu Boston did, and not just um, a fundraiser. They also they were also uh, able to um, support the City of Wisdom College Safety and Security Plan with five cameras, five cameras from their donations. And I was so impressed. And I really used this opportunity to thank Boston Chapter, starting from their president, who is the vice CEO, Brother Joseph Fuandata, who is um, one of our advisors, um, Mr. Julius Webofua, who is um, one of the board members, uh, um, Tanyi Fondi, who is the board chair, Mr. Robert, uh, Mr. Um, uh, Fabula Richard, who is a member of the executive, <coughs> powerful men, including uh, Mr. Uh, including Kema Wungong, okay, uh, uh, Jika, and for Wenya, these were the pioneer because Nkema Wungong came with uh, his friends and they were so productive. I do know that there are some um, old executive members like uh, doc, uh, like Miss um, um, Christina Fondi, uh, uh, Miss Teresa Abila. These are the bones, the backbone that make this occasion successful, and I'm so proud of them. They raised close to forty thousand dollars. Can you believe that? And plus that, with a lot of security cameras to support citizen safety and security. That is a, it is our priority in this uh, executive. So I thank Boston so much. It was my first outing and the experience was so grateful. I thank them. Yes, CEO, thank you so much for that uh, wonderful elaboration and 